Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of verify card. Some payment methods aren't verified. You will normally see a message like what you are seeing on this particular screen. As you see, it says we saw some unusual activity on your payment method to keep your account safe, verify all your payment method. So when you see a message like this, what it simply means is that they have suspected that probably um, there may be some illegal use of your card or you may not be one authorizing it. It doesn't necessarily mean that is there is an actual um illegal use of it or it doesn't mean that someone has used it but it's just a suspicion so in some cases in me at the end of the day when you verify they will just continue without any problem it is the system that suspect it's not a human being yeah so when you see something like this so you click on verify when you click on verify it will take you to the next screen where you will see something like what i'm seeing here where you will actually, it will tell you the subject to support from your card is here. You will be required to verify with a one-time passcode. Alternatively, we'll place a temporary hold of $1 at, that will appear in your online banking statement with a four character verification code. So when you click on verify, normally it will take you to a screen like this and it will ask you to continue. So when you click on continue, it will bring you to this particular screen where it will tell you that um, they have sent a code. Please enter the OTP sent to your mobile phone. So the OTP or one-time uh, passcode will be sent to your phone. And then when you put it there and you click submit, it will automatically verify. Or if you don't receive the SMS, you can log into your online banking system i mean your banking your online banking app or mobile banking app then when you go to your transactions the transactions transaction activity you will see a description of something like facebook ads or fb ads then you will see the tra transaction with a unique code you see some numbers okay attached to it and there will be so th those numbers, if you see it and you see any number attached, normally it will either be four numbers, four digits. Sometimes they'll combine numbers and then uh, alphabet. It could be four or six digits, but normally most of the time I see four. So when you see it, you just put a code and then click on submit. So when you follow this process and you don't get a solution, you can leave your comments in the comment section. You can also follow the WhatsApp and the Telegram link in the description of this video to contact us for us to look at your problem in detail and we can solve it for you. Most of the time, it depends. We try to resolve some of these issues for you. If it is also a minor problem, we may also help you uh, without having for you to pay. But if it is a major problem, we need to look at it in detail and log into your account to solve for you. Understand that you will pay. Take time and follow it and let us know. Bye.